Hi, my name is Don with Canary, and I wanted to take a few moments and show you how to configure and visualize your data using Canary's OPC Collector and Axiom. The Canary OPC Collector connects to OPC servers to log UA data into your Canary Historian. So the first step is going to be to uh, go ahead and start your Canary Admin. And once you're in your Canary Admin, you're going to simply click on the OPC Collector tile. As you can see, I currently already have two sessions up and running, and this tutorial is going to show you how to configure a brand new session. So you're going to go down to the very bottom left and hit Configuration. And then go over to the upper left and hit New Sessions. Then you will have some information to complete right here under Session Settings. This is where you're going to name this set. This is the historian where all of your data will be stored. This is a great feature right here, the uh, data set creation. If you type in a new data set name right here, the collector will auto create a new data set in our Canary historian, saving you the step of going into the historian config and creating one. I'd like to also create a new file with that. And then when you get into the URL, this is the name or IP address where you could find your OPC server. And lastly, you have your host port. And this is the port that your server is listening to. Once all of this information is complete, you can go up and simply hit apply. As you can see, our session has been created, OPC UA sample, and underneath it we have groups. And so we're going to go in and we're going to click on group and we're going to browse for tags. As you can see, we have a variety of server nodes here ready to go. I'm going to grab some simulation data. And you can actually go up here and do a search, which could be as simple as typing in the words casing, or you can go in and find kilowatt. But for me, I'm just going to go ahead and grab some data here, hold the shift key down, just grab a variety and press OK. And as you can see, that data has, the uh, data tags have been moved over to the group, and I'm going to press apply. You also have under the group settings the ability to change the name of the group. So I'm going to change this to Canary, Canary Demo 1 group. You also have a sample interval here that you can adjust, uh, normalize timing, as well as a dead band type, which the dead band type can either be absolute or percent. And I'm going to go ahead and hit apply now that these are here. And I want to go back over to status. And as you can see, we have our OPC UA sample for session ready to go. And each one of these tiles actually have a stop and a start in the upper left hand corner. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the start. Then you go back in. And there you can see you're getting the timestamp, the value, and the quality of your data in real time. I'd like to point out some additional uh, cool features that you could use in the OPC collector. So I'm actually going to go back here, go under configuration, and as you can see here, I, these are all the tags that are currently running. And what I'd like to do is I want to go in, go ahead and grab my Excel add-in and I'm just going to do a copy and paste of some additional tags I'd like to bring in
and there they are right there and you could also do a few more things that that I think is pretty slick first of all you could add some tag properties so you could have things like engineering units maybe a description and you could also have high low scales and high low limits and so as you can see they've already populated here and all you need to do is click on the tag and let's just go ahead and grab a few let's see so for this tag specifically I want to go into engine unit and put in PSI and then also we could have a another tag here and grab a description just gonna put in the word barrels more importantly you have the ability if you'd like to go in and create an if statement or transform the data in any way uh, by uh, creating a mathematical expression you could do that right here under the transform so I'm gonna select a different tag here and put in transform press apply as you can see all that information has been added and I did spell barrels incorrectly so I'm going to go in and correct that right now there you go press apply and we should be good to go so I'm going to go ahead back here check my status And there are all the tags that I copied and pasted, as well as there's the transform and the information that you requested. So I'm gonna go ahead and click out of here and open up Axiom. And what I would like to do is, is just show you that I could pull in that data that we just uh, created there. So I'm gonna open a chart or I'm gonna add trends. And there's our Canary UA demo that I just created. And here are all the tags. And I just want to grab a few. And there you go. As you can see, the data is starting to move in through the right here. And we're getting values. So thank you so much for joining me for this review of uh, Canary and how to configure your OPC UA server, your collector. And if you have any additional questions, please feel free to visit our Canary Labs website at canarylabs.com. Thank you.